ballet that we're doing this year is continuo and although it's an abstract ballet and doesn't actually come from a theme of psychological work it is based on the music and a very spiritual essence of that. The guest artists that we had in residency, Amanda McCarrow and John Gardner, worked with Mr. Tudor. They were special dancers of his. They performed his ballets and now they are staging his ballets all over the world. And, don't forget this part, five, six, seven, now if I'm an outside couple, yeah, eight, Anthony Tudor was uh, considered one of the great master choreographers of the 20th century because he, he is the, the creator, if you will, of the psychological ballet. Anthony Tudor was different in the way that he approached his choreography than other choreographers had to that point. He brought the classical ballet vocabulary into a, a realm that hadn't been visited before in a way that people never really imagined could be done. He told mm -hmm. stories about real people, about real situations, mm -hmm. about real emotions, about real intentions of people that weren't always comfortable for other people to, to see. The classical ballets from Russia were based on themes of uh, Sleeping Beauty and Swan Lake and uh, fairy tales. And the ballets of, uh, the neoclassical ballets of George Balanchine were based on line and speed and uh, extension. And Anthony Tudor brought the psychological side of adult themes into his work and into the creation of the movement for his steps and his ballets. And now we go, we face that same diagonal. Take your hand this way. And palms forward. down. So you, so you have your finger, she has your finger, and you go You're just going to kind of, up. that's right, and Tom Bay on your right. One of the extraordinary benefits of our Great Works project is that we learn about these ballets, these people, these choreographers, in a context of ballet history and dance history. And then the dancers work with the professionals who come from that history, bring that tradition to us and continue it down the line and work on it in the studio. So this is physical research now. They're learning in the studio how to create that work. We'll, we'll finish our work here. Uh, we'll have been here for a total of seven days uh, with a good amount of time. The hours are good. And, and I will say we've been really pleased with the dancer's focus on top of everything else they're doing. It's been really good. The residency for our guest artists is very short. And after they leave, after they've taught the ballet, then my job is to work with the dancers and help them to realize the ballet to their fullest extent. Uh, we work on the technique of the steps, we look, work on the uniformity of them, the quality, and again that essence that is so much from Anthony Tudor of bringing the physical to a spiritual level. One of us will come back and see where they're at and, and give more um, coaching or inspiration. I mean, it, it'll, it'll be what, what we see, it'll be up to us to give it more layers. This is an extraordinary opportunity for our students to work with artists of this caliber and perform professional repertoire. You want to keep your chest and back lifted and, and, and just looking at her hair. Oh my God, her hair is so beautiful. The choreography actually enriches the way we hear the music because it doesn't repeat exactly with the musical repetitions. And so it, it is a, another layering of the music to see the ballet. Is the ballet saying what it's supposed to be saying? Am I, do I see the music when I watch the dancers? Is the music coming to life? One, a, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I think the best audience reaction to, to Continuo for me would be if it makes that audience member present in that moment to what's happening, to what they're seeing. That, Everything else drops away, and they're just there, and hopefully enjoying, but involved in what's happening, and really seeing it, and really, really there, and hearing it, and, and, hopefully, and hopefully translating that into feeling it, but just completely present, just like I hope the dancers are, to whatever. Right, and I hope they want to see it again. I hope it's something they want to experience again. Good one. Five, six.